Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Good morning. May I see your appointment letter and ID, please? Here you go. Your appointment is at 10 a.m., but now it is only 9 o'clock. Sorry, madam. I cannot let you in the building right now. You should come back at 9.45 a.m. Thank you and see you later. Good morning. Can I enter the building right now? May I have your appointment letter and ID again? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. You may now enter the building. Here's your appointment letter and ID. Please remove your jacket, empty your pockets, and take out all your electronic devices then place them in a bin. Now you can walk through the metal detector. Remember to take all your belongings with you. And please use the elevator to go to the second floor. And check in at suite 210. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. How can I assist you today? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can I have your appointment letter and ID, please? Sure. Here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me check your information on our system. Do you have your green card with you? Yes, I do. Here it is. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I got your information. Now I need to take your picture and scan your fingerprints right here. Could you kindly take a step forward and focus your attention on the camera ahead of you? Sure. All right. Now, could you please place your index finger from the left hand on the scanner? Now, your left index finger please. Everything is perfect. Take your notice and your ID back with you and wait your turn. The officer should be here in a moment. Thank you again. You are most welcome. Natalie Sophie. Yes, it's me. Hi, Sophie. I'm Immigration Officer Samuel Jackson. And I'll be conducting your interview today. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great, and I appreciate you checking in. How are you doing? I'm doing well too, thank you. 
Please come in and remain standing. You can place your belongings next to the chair. Thank you. Before we start the interview, I'm going to place you under oath. Could you please raise your right hand? Sure. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please take your seat. Thank you. You're welcome. How was your travel to this place? The journey to this location was smooth with no significant issues or delays. That's great! Did you engage in any enjoyable activities over the weekend? Not really. I was preparing for this interview. All right. Do you have any questions before we start the interview? No. Can I have your appointment notice, your green card, and state issued ID such as a driver's license and your passport? Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Now tell me, what is the purpose of your U.S. citizenship interview? The purpose of my citizenship interview is to demonstrate my eligibility and commitment to becoming a U.S. citizen. Why do you want to be an American citizen? I would like to apply for government jobs, register to vote, and travel without the restrictions. That's great. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? October 10, 2018. How did you get your green card? By diversity visa program. All right. Now I will review your application form to make sure everything is correct. What is your current legal name? Natalie Sophie. Is Sophie your last name? Yes. What is your first name? Natalie. How do you spell your last name? S O P H I E. Have you used any other names since you got your green card? No, I haven't used any other name. Some people change their name when they become U.S. citizen. So, would you like to change your current name? I do not want to change my name. What is your date of birth? November twenty first, nineteen ninety eight. How tall are you, and how much do you weigh? I am five three and one hundred and fifteen pounds. Can you confirm your social security number? Three zero seven, five two three, seven five one. What is the best phone number to reach you at? Three seven three, seven nine five, five three nine zero. What is your country of birth? France. What is your country of citizenship or nationality? France. What is your current mailing address? Two ninety one North Laurel Street, Bridgeton, New Jersey zero eight three zero two. 
so we will use that mailing address to contact you throughout the naturalization process? Yes. Have you moved in the past three months? No. How long have you been living there? I have been living there since 2021. What is your previous address? 126 South 4th Street, Millville, New Jersey, 08332. When did you move from this previous address? On the first week of June 2021. All right. What is your current marital status? Married. How many times have you been married? I have been married twice. On what date did you wed your current spouse? I married my current spouse on the 9th of March 2020. Where did you get married? Hudson House, Jersey City, New Jersey. Can I see your original marriage certificate, please? Sure, here you go. Did you bring any documents to prove your marriage is legitimate? Yes. I brought our tax returns for the last three years, joint bank statements. Mortgage statement with both of our names on it, my health insurance copies, and some wedding photos. Okay, thank you. What is your current spouse's legal name? Antoine Killian. What is your current spouse's date of birth? March 19, 1991. What is your current spouse's current address? My spouse's current address is the same as my current address. Is your current spouse a U.S. citizen? Yes, he is a U.S. citizen by birth. Where did you get your previous married? Toulouse, France. How did the previous marriage conclude? The previous marriage ended amicably through mutual understanding. Well, do you have your divorce decree with you? Yeah, I do have it. Can I see it? Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What is your current spouse's current job? He's a software engineer at XYZ Tech. All right. How many children do you have? I have a son with my current spouse. Great. He was born in the United States, correct? Correct. Can I have his birth certificate? Sure, here it is. Thank you. Do you and your spouse have any adopted children? No, we don't. Do you have any children with your ex-husband? No. All right. Do you have a job currently? Yes, I do. What is your job? I am an operations event manager. Who is your current employer? Red Bull, New York. Where is it located? Harrison, New Jersey, 07029. 
How long have you been working there? Since August 2019. Have you worked anywhere else in the last five years? No, that's it. Are one or both of your parents a U.S. citizen? No. All right. Have you taken any trip outside the United States in the last five years? Yes, I have gone on a few trips. Where and when was the last trip? Traveled to Canada in October 2022. We just spent one week there. What was the purpose of your last trip? Celebrated my birthday with my husband. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Indeed, we had a great time enjoying it. Have any of your trips outside the United States been long longer than six months? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local elections in the United States? No. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No, I don't. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal state? or local tax returns since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No, never. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? No, never. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No, officer. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or a soldier in a prison or jail? No, officer. What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No, never. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry? or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Have you, have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, never. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with any other totalitarian party? No, never. Have you, were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. 
Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Yes, I have a traffic ticket. How many traffic tickets do you have and what were the reasons for the citations? I have one traffic ticket that is in 2022 for talking on a cell phone while driving. How much were that tickets and how did you resolve that? It was $100, which I paid right away. Okay. Great. That's not a problem. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Were you have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is public benefit? Welfare like food stamps, housing, education, health care. Have you Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Can you explain to me what that is? It means that I promise to love my country in good times and in bad time. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing to. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Great. Great. Now let's start the civics test. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, but a little bit nervous. Have you studied? Yes, I studied since I've applied. What version of the civics test did you study? I studied the 100 Official Civics Questions 2008 version. That's the correct one. So, are you ready for the test? Yes, I am ready for the test. Do you have any questions before we start? No. All right. I'll ask up to 10 questions and you pass if you can give six correct answers. And you can just provide one answer. Please say the answers loudly for me. First question. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Sorry, that's not correct. Let's try another question. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. When must all men register for the selective service? Between 18 and 26. What is one reason colonists came to America? 
Freedom. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because they didn't have self government. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. diplomat. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party. Well, you got more than six questions correct, so you passed the civics test portion. Thank you. Now we're going to do the English reading and writing tests. You need to get one out of three sentences correct to pass. I'm going to show you a sentence on the tablet and I want you to read it back to me. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. For the reading portion. Who is on the dollar bill? Now I want you to write the sentence down on the tablet that I'm going to say out loud. Listen carefully to this sentence that I'll say. Okay. President Washington is on the dollar bill. Can you repeat it one more time for me, please? President Washington is on the dollar bill. Excellent. Thank you. Congratulations, you passed your naturalization interview. Thank you, officer. Now please review the application on the tablet. And make sure if your information is correct, then please sign the last page. Yes, officer, everything is correct. I also need you to sign the Oath of Allegiance section. Please read it carefully before you sign. We will send you a notice for the oath ceremony within a month. You still have an important step that needs to be done to become a U.S. citizen. Make sure you attend the oath ceremony as scheduled. You can also apply for your passport if you have any plan to travel outside of the U.S. Do you have any questions at this point? No, I don't have any questions. Thanks again. You are most welcome. Let me walk you back to the customer service area. Have a good day. Thank you again, officer. Goodbye.